Alright, so today for you I have my Budget Dark Magician deck profile. And uh, I know that you could honestly call this a Dark Magician budget deck, but it's only made out of what I've gotten from packs and uh, boxes, so that's why I consider it my uh, Budget Dark Magician deck. So starting out with our main deck, we have the Dark Magician, of course. We got three of that original artwork, Dark Magician. Next up, we got a, a Choco Magician Girl for that draw power. I run Dark Magician of Chaos, since I don't have the uh, Dark Magic Circle card. So he gets off the banishes and also has 2,800. Uh, I've got three rods, of course. Then I also run three of the ropes. I run three ropes because he's very nice for summoning out of the deck, and then also he acts as the uh, our level two for our level two tool. Then we got three of Palladium. It's a very awesome card. You draw him and get you get a special summon him immediately out to the field. He does he has five thousand attack whenever he's battling with dark monsters, which is most decks. And then he also once he dies or goes to the graveyard, he special summons out a dark magician from somewhere. He's also a level 7, so that's very useful. Then we got the Magician of Dark Illusions. Can the same thing as uh, Palladium. He's got a... Uh, he can help you uh, summon out your Dark Magicians. He also is a level 7, so he can be used for your XYZs. And he can summon out pretty easily since, you know, a good chunk of this deck is spells and traps. Alright, for the spells, we're running three of the dark magic attacks, three of the thousand knives, nice little utility. And we also run a magic dimension, a dark magic expanded, an Aya Tamias. I would actually honestly like to bump that up to two, but I only got one from my Dragons of Legends. A dedication through light and darkness, in case we need to grab out our uh, our democ to get over beefier monsters. A soul charge, and then a right geki. Swing of memories. Dark magic veil. Mystical space typhoon. We're also for a field car running. Two Secret Village of the Spellcasters. That's because the card's freaking amazing. I mean, it can it can end up hurting you, especially once you get the uh, once you get the uh, what's it called the uh, the Eternal Soul. Once you get Eternal Soul out on the field, if your opponent takes that, I mean, uh, Secret Village of the Spellcasters could end up hurting you, but it's pretty easy to get a spellcaster back out on the field. I mean, we're only using spellcasters, so not too worried about it. Okay, we got Curse of Anubis to help get over some monsters. We got Dark Renewal. Phantom Knight's Wing. Magician's Circle. And then two of these Eternal Souls. Like I said, it's not not even almost the best Dark Magician deck, but it works pretty good for what I need it to. Now for my extra deck, I'm running a Crumble Logos and Levier, those utility cards. Red Eyes Flare and Big Eye. Extra utility. And then we run our MVPs of the deck, two Ebon High and two Ebon Illusions. I have like four Ebon Highs, but there's no no need to run three. Which is not even like getting him out all that much, so. And then also we've got Galaxy Eyes Cipher, Galaxy Eyes Full Armor, and Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter, and I'll show you kind of why we have them here in a second. Now for our uh, fusions with the Ayatomias, we've got one Amulet Dragon 
and two of these Dark Paladins. Now, the reason I have these level 8s right here is for these cards specifically. So if uh, your opponent... Because a lot of the times I don't use Amulet Dragon so much, I go for Dark Paladin because I like being able to uh, negate their stuff. But uh, Dark Paladin isn't that beefy. He's only 2,900 and... And he's got no real way to increase his attack. Other than, you know, Dark Magic Expanded. So basically, if you're stuck with him out on the field and your opponent has like a pretty beefy monster out there, you can pull out your Demok, and then XYZ the Demok and Dark Paladin for Galaxy Ice Cipher, steal their really powerful card, and then turn it into Galaxy Eyes uh, uh, Photon and then Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter. So then you got a card with 4,000 attack that can attack twice. So it's it's pretty situational, like like a lot of the other cards that aren't the uh, Dark Magician XYZs. But I'm I like it, and so far, like I said, this deck's been running pretty good for me. I've actually uh, beaten beaten the wife's uh, Performa as OT, OTK deck that I built for, her. and uh, that one gives a lot of my decks troubles. So, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the deck. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for checking me out.